Hey everyone, it's William Spear here, and I am an MEP and designed a fab SME for Autodesk. And today we're going to be looking at how to use Inventor to create fish mouth openings on pipes. So if you have a main like this and a lateral going into it, it's not it's not easy to create a fish mouth template or the pattern for that. So Rev or Inventor makes it pretty easy to do that. So we're going to look at that today, and I'm also going to include this assembly file, fish mouth assembly with sheet metal main. Uh, so that you don't have to do the heavy lifting. You can reuse this file over and over again to create as many templates for fish mouths as you want. And the reason I'm calling it with sheet metal main is so that you remember that this piece here, the main, is actually not a solid extrusion in Revit or Inventor, but is actually um, a sheet metal part. There's three parts in here. There's the sheet metal main, there's the solid lateral, and then I have another one turned off right now, which is pipe main or main pipe solid. So it's the same piece as this here, but it is an actual solid use. We'll use it to remove the end of this lateral. So you can see how that shape would develop if you need it. But uh, Inventor makes this very easy to do. If I right click on that main, there's a number of ways to get to it. You just open the file. You can see right away that there's a fish mouth opening right here. Okay, So there's the actual opening. And if you're using a sheet metal part, Inventor makes it very simple to just simply go to flat pattern development and there you can see there's my fish mouth opening. Okay. If you want to look at it from the other side, you can see what the back side of it looks like as well. See the cut in here. Okay. But this gives you an idea of what the file will actually look like. Now, how do you make the template? Glad you asked. The template is very easy to make. If you just click on the back of this, you right click and say new sketch. Say OK. And do nothing more than finish the sketch. What you wind up with is in your design tree over here in your browser, you can see I've got a new sketch here called Sketch 8. It's the eighth one I've made, just playing around with this thing. If you right click on that, notice that you can come down here to export the sketch as whatever you want. In this case, we're going to export it as a DWG file. And, or not whatever you want, it exports as a DWG file. But regardless, I've already made one called Fish Mouth Opening, Main Opening. And that DWG file, if I save that out, will then actually allow me to go in and plot the DWG file. So take a look. Here's the DWG file I made, right? Uh, if you plot this out, then you simply, once you take this and plot it, you take the piece of paper, overlay it back over the pipe, guess what? You have your opening right there. And this is what you would scribe for where to cut. Now, uh, if it was me, I'd be cutting this at a 45 degree concave bevel so that I'm, I'm beveling it in, more or less, and maximizing the surface area for the weld. But that's entirely up to you how you want to do that. The hard part is getting that fish mouth in the, exactly the right spot, and here you have it. Okay, so Inventor does the heavy lifting for you on that. All right, so let's fold this back up, and we'll get out of this file and take a look at how this whole thing is assembled. So when you put parts together in assemblies in Inventor, you can do that with constraints. And so three constraints I have here are the lateral to main pivot point. So this allows the lateral to pivot around the axis on its end and the center axis of the main. I have a lateral to main elevation. And in this case, you can see that it's flush with the bottom right now. Right, so there's where they come together at the bottom. I can change that. Let's say it's... Uh, center to center line, right? And just right click on this, edit, and select my new surfaces. So if I'll take the center surface or the center plane of the lateral and for my second I'll take the center plane of the main. And as soon as I say okay these two will align. Now understand too, no matter whether it's bottom to bottom, top to top, or center to center, I can change the offset value here to be whatever it needs to be. If it's 0.5 inches from the top or the center, whatever, whatever value you want, you can place that in there. So it gives you complete control over where these two pipes meet in elevation. So there you can see that it's now moved, right? And I need to be able to control the angle around which the lateral connects into the main. And that you can do here by editing, or I could just come up here and double click and change the value either way, right? So let's make it 165, right? That's a pretty drastic angle. And let's go put this back down on the bottom. So we'll edit that. And for surface one, we'll pick this. And for surface two, we'll pick the bottom here. Now you can see that they're flush again on the bottom. And let's see what that looks like. So if we open this up and go back to our flat pattern development, now you can see you've got a really skewed opening. 
But look how quick and easy that is in Inventor. You know, just one, two, three. And then I can again right click, new sketch, finish sketch right there. And then take this sketch out, right? Export sketch as a DAV field, DWG file. So we can do this over and over again. It's very quick and easy to do. And you can just create as many of these as you want. Again, I would not, I would probably delete these, but that's file management. You can do what you want to with those. All right. Um, some other things to keep in mind um, are the functions that are in here. The three that you want to keep in mind are pipe wall thickness, and I'll show you what that means in a minute, why that's important. Um, the outside diameter, the OD here, and the ID, the inside diameter. Uh, these can all change. Let's say I change this. Let's make this four inches. And we'll make this 3.75. How about that? All right, so now I have a difference in wall thickness is going to be 0.25 inches, right? And let's say that's done. And we'll close this back up. Now what I'm going to do is show you how you can deal with cutting the end off of this lateral so you can actually see what that looks like. To do that, that's why I created this piece here, the pipe main solid. We'll turn that on and you can see it's not the right size yet. So all we have to do is just go to this guy here and edit and return. So I just double clicked on it. And now you can see that it's updated because there's I built a relationship between them. So there's a relationship built between the pipe main sheet metal part here and between the main pipe solid here. So let's just uh, take this back again. Let's make this 65 degrees. We can see we're doing a little bit better. And if you want to cut the end off of this lateral here, the way that you can do that is if you edit the lateral. So you right click and say edit. You come up here and use the copy object tool. And what you're going to select is the main pipe. And you want to make sure that once you select that body is checked, that you're using composite here, and that you have associative on. Say OK. The next step will be to sculpt. There's the tool up there. Sculpt, and I want to remove or subtract. And the surface I'm going to pick again is this surface. And this is key down here. You want to make sure that right here, you change this value to the opposite direction. Okay. And when you change that, you can see what it's going to remove down here. This little piece sl uh, shows slicing off. Watch if I change it back, you'll see that it goes away. So we want to make sure that that's removed and say OK. All right, then I can return to the part if I'd like to. I can go ahead and accept that. So then if I go to this part here and open it, you can see right away, there's my piece, okay? And you can look at this in different angles. You can see how it's going to be cut um, in Inventor. It's not gonna give you as much help in cutting the ends off the lateral as it will in getting the fish mouth cut into the main because we're gonna use more traditional methods to cut this and determine how this is gonna be cut. But the point is still, it gives me an idea of what it's gonna look like and if I want to, knowing what degree we did this at, I think we did it at 65 degrees, I can come in here and start adding cut planes in here and taking a look at it from different angles. So then again, I can apply that to the pipe and put the cut on here. The other thing that's nice about Inventor is if you happen to have CNC to cut the end of this pipe off, using com computer numeric control uh, machinery to cut this off, what you can do is you can come up here and export this file out as a CAD format. So that'll export it out as a DWG file, or you could just do it directly there, either one. And when it's exported out as a DWG file, you can then convert that file to DXF. And any CNC machine will accept DXF. So let's close out of this. And before we do, by the way, um, over here, I can delete this sculpt feature there if I want to. Um, if I want to save this, I will actually save this file out as. So you'll want to do a save as if you want to save this for some reason. But you want to leave the integrity of the assembly alone. So let's take that and close that. No, I don't want to save changes. And I'm just going to undo these, right? All right, so that preserves the integrity of the assembly. So let's turn the visibility off on that and turn the visibility back on on this. And there's one last part of this I need to show you. Let's go back up here. And in the folded model, if you go to sketch one and turn that on, there's three dimensions in here. There's a pipe wall thickness dimension. There's an inside diameter and an outside diameter. And if I right click on these, go to the dimension properties, you can see where I created parameters for these. This one's called OD. This one's called ID. 
and this one here, if I right click on that, dimension parameters, guess what? Pipe wall thickness. Remember that? A few minutes ago we showed you that in the functionality up there. And the reason I'm keeping things consistent here is for the following. This dimension here, the pipe wall thickness, is a driven dimension called pipe wall thickness. If I go to the sheet metal defaults up here, in sheet metal defaults you're going to see that I don't have use thickness from rule turned on. What I do have is I have the parameter pipe wall thickness in there. So it lets me come in and choose pipe wall thickness. Okay, so that's what you want. You want to have the thickness match everywhere you go. So if the pipe wall, remember how I changed this from three inches to four inches, that pipe wall thickness changed from an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. You don't want to have to come up here and keep changing this all the time. So if we just use that parameter pipe wall thickness, it will automatically update that for you as well. So this concludes the video and hopefully this is going to help you make those fish mouths a lot easier using Inventor. And also I'm going to include in here the URL when I email this out or host it for another video online on and tips and tricks on subtracting one solid from another. Basically it covers the same sorts of steps that I went through for my file, but it's already on there. So it goes a little more in depth on using the sculpt tool and using the copy tool. All right, thanks very much for joining us.